ba, ba, ba. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. It's been a while uh, since our last tutorial. I just want to say Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of our Scuff Beginner Friendly Tutorial Series. Today, we're going to be going over the basics of our body X angles and different techniques you can use to uh, warp the body to form the 3D illusion. Today we're going to start off by sorting out our parameters, our warp deformers, our meshes. We're going to start off by rigging our booba, so our body X booba angles. I go over two techniques. You can either rig the boing boings together or you could rig them individually. Uh, I end up sticking with rigging them individually so that I can uh, also change the draw order to make them look like they're overlapping on certain angles. I actually learned a lot throughout this footage. For example, I have a hidden booba layer underneath my booba uh, that is revealed when I turn side on. And I also utilize clipping masks to blend those layers together. I also go over shadows and light shine for the booba for that 3D illusion. We also work on the booba shadow after we rig the booba. So the main X angles for the booba. We then move on to the torso. Next we fix the neck and how it's aligned with the torso. We move on to the arms and finally the skirt. We also uh, touch up small details as well, like with the honey shape, uh, the shadows, uh, and the skirt movement. An important thing to note is that I roughly go over the skirt X angle, but I do touch up that later on down the track, and I'll have a separate video entirely focused on the skirt to get it looking like this. At the end of this video, I'll go over our physics settings. So after going over today's video on body X, we will then go on to body Y in our next video. But that's enough talking, let's just dive straight into the video. Parameters. Okay, dokie. So let's start off with body X. Today we're going to be starting with our parameters. So we're just going to be using a body X parameter with a minimum of negative 10, maximum positive 10, and default 0. Again, we're going to be using augmented physics. So the default live 2D parameters I've put into the inputs folder. So body X is the normal parameter for live 2D, but we have created a new parameter under the body folder and we've kept our inputs in the separate folder. So this is the parameter that we're going to be rigging on. Warp deformers. Now let's create our warp deformers. So I'm going to start by creating one for the head. I'm going to create it on top of my org angle Z rotation deformer. This is important that it is the parent of that rotation deformer. And I'm going to call it head body XY org for augmented physics. Next, let's create a body warp deformer for our whole body. So body XY org, make sure that it's the parent deformer of our body. Within this body warp deformer, I have my boobers warp deformer, which contains all of our booba items. This is my right booba, and this is my left booba. I have a warp deformer that is the parent of these two warp deformers. And this is just for organizational purposes to have those three warp deformers. On top of this warp deformer, I am going to create a booba body xy org warp deformer as the parent. So for my arms, I have this arm warp deformer and I have this arm warp deformer. I'm going to create a parent warp deformer of these two so that I'll be able to move both arms. Arm body xy org as well as our torso, torso, body, x, y, org, and then I'm also going to do my collarbones and the top of my torso body, just that bit. You can go in and add more warp deformers later. I might actually make one for the neck. Keyforms. I am now going to make sure that I select all of the warp deformers that I just made that are the body, x, y, org. 
we're going to start off with the top part of our body and in another video we're going to be rigging our legs so grab all those warp deformers that you just created and add keyforms to our body x parameter we're going to add three generating meshes before we do anything else we're just going to generate an automatic mesh a heavy deformation for all of our body parts we can just go over here hide all our warp deformers select all the items that you'll be rigging today so we've just selected all of our items on our body that have not been meshed yet and we're going to create an auto heavy deformation mesh and that looks <laughs> really crazy look at it here i just touch up the auto generated meshes by manually checking each mesh general body x edit where is my voice? Where are you? So let's just right click select and grab all my warp deformers from my hips up for the org angle xy. If we drag to negative 10, drag this way. Don't mind the legs, we're going to fix the legs later. See that our body shifts sideways and then you can go up here, reflect motion, flick horizontally and there we go. So that is just how we're going to start off today. <laughs> Rigging Booba Body X The next thing that we're going to work on is going to be the booba as it is closest to us We're going to start at the front and work our way back When we drag left, I've selected both boobs Our booba would move sideways as well Let's just hide our hair I'm actually just going to create a bold toggle while I'm at it And it will make it a little bit easier <laughs> to turn on and off the hair So create parameter, bold, toggle I just created a bold toggle. Please ignore my voice. Um, my voice is going. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so when we move to negative 10, our booba will also drag sideways. Some people like to rig them together. So you hold shift and you create a 3D illusion. So that would be like a very rough way to rig them. But I personally am going to rig them individually. I want to try add in some extra layers behind here that are revealed. So we're going to try utilize inverted clipping masks again. But if you did want to rig it this way, then you would add more conversion divisions. Go smooth all. And this will just make it look a bit better. So it would look something like this. It would squish down. So yeah, you get the idea. That is the kind of look that we're going for. It would look a bit better than this and you would just make sure you've got the warp deformer selected and then you would go reflect motion horizontally and then you've got both sides done. So that would be how we would rig the booba. Let's add in our extra layers that we've drawn up. Here I have imported extra layers in the format of a Photoshop document or a PSD file. I am just arranging them, meshing them and clipping them to the appropriate layers. I start warping one booba at a time instead of warping them together. I have extra layers that are underneath my main booba. I skew these extra layers so that they sit hidden underneath the main boob layer. Only when the keyforms are on negative 10 or positive 10 are those layers revealed. I also add extra colour and shading layers on top of both booba layers. The goal of trying this was to blend together both shapes when the booba layer underneath is revealed. So I clip the extra colour on top of the layers. Just a small extra note, 
You can paste multiple IDs to one item under the inspector section if you separate the IDs with a comma. I also mess around with draw order and opacity too, so that certain layers have a higher draw order or opacity on key forms where I want the layer to be revealed. The smooth all bezier edit type was also really handy here too, to get a smooth transition between key forms. Another trick I found was to have a shirt, or in my case the honey, clipped to the booba. The honey top itself is bigger and wider than what is actually shown clipped to the booba, so when I want to create a rotation illusion, I simply drag the honey top over, so left or right, and then that reveals the hidden art that isn't normally seen. And this also helps to add more depth to the shape. You can also see me add in extra highlight layers and shadow layers too, which creates more rotational perspective. I also just copy and paste the entire booba I rigged and flipped it horizontally. Make sure you also reflect those parameters, like we did with the eyes. This means you don't need to rig both breasticles, just one and then copy and paste it. 
When looking sideways, the booba that is facing away from us will be a lower draw order compared to the booba closest to us. This gives the overlapping effect, which changes between keyforms. I adjust the under booba shadow too, so that it moves with the direction of the breasts. You can see I have a lot of keyforms, so you do not need this many. <laughs> I just try to add extra to refine the movement more. I also make use of extended interpolation, ellipse interpolation, for all layers that are keyform to the body X parameter. But make sure you do save after doing the extended interpolation because sometimes uh, if you have too many keyforms and then you add extended interpolation it makes it impossible to save. So do be cautious of that and you can always go control Z, remove the interpolation so that you can save your project. But yeah, save, save, save. Uh, one other thing that I have that's very handy is I have this static highlight that I've keyformed, just two keyforms on each end, and it moves side to side like this. It sits on top of all of these parts for my boobers, and you can see that it's like a light shimmer. And it just adds some glow and some more uh, three-dimensional aspects. I also used shadows around here that I moved throughout. So it's this shadow here. And that also helps with a 3D look. And again, I rig the boobers separately. So one for this one, one for this one. And then on this side, this booba is a higher draw order than this booba, and then vice versa, on this side, this booba is a higher draw order than this booba. You'll see on this side, this booba is 520, but then when it moves here, it's 500, and that's just so that it can go underneath this one. Rigging Torso Body X Okay, let's move on to the next part of the body. We're going to move on to the waist and the torso. Okay, so with our torso top selected, our torso body, as you can see it's this part, we want to make it look like our body is rotating. So let's increase these conversion divisions. I'm going to go 15 by 15. When we rotate sideways, this part of the body, so this part, is going to be less visible, while this part of the body is going to be more visible. So let's work on that now. So grab this tool, make it bigger, select all down here. Now with the arrow tool, so we're going to click our arrows a few times to bring this side of the waist in. And now click again. We're going to highlight a little bit less this time. Arrow. We did six. Now let's select even less. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now just the very edge. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
And then on the opposite side, let's select a lot. So we're pulling it out this way with our arrows. One, two, three. Select west this time. One, two, three, four. Select west. One, two, three, four, five. And even west. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what that does is it basically gives it a rotation effect. You can select your torso, warp deformer, go reflect motion, horizontally, and you can see that it's done it for both sides. And voila, we have a very scuffed rig. <laughs> Rigging neck body X. So we have our neck body org XY warp deformer selected. I'm just going to go to 3 for a more general movement. We go sideways we're gonna just line this up so that it's no longer broken and I'm actually just going to reflect that motion I'm also going to jiggle my head a little bit so let's find our head body org and we go sideways move our head a little So you can see it's just that very slight movement to reflect that motion. Okay, rigging arm body X. And now let's work on our arms. So for the arms, I'm going to be adding physics later on. So we just want to start off with a very basic movement. So my warp deformer is quite big, but I think I can work with it. Let's go back to number two edit for our edit level. I'm going to increase my Bezier divisions. Sorry if you can hear the rain outside. It's very rainy at the moment. What? What's happening? Do not do what I do. I'm just gonna move my arms like this to start off with. Yeah, let's flip this. Great. I think I want some kind of angle, like uh, for this arm to dip down a little bit and then this arm to move up a little bit. So I'm going to try and do that. Select all of this. Let's go to the side and I want to drag it and rotate our arm and then pull it inwards so that when we move our arm kind of tilts downward and I'm going to grab some more and rotate it again. That's what our arm looks like. It will be behind our skirt. And now let's do the opposite for this arm. Select this half and go sideways, tilt the opposite way. the motion over horizontally. It'll look a lot better with our physics but this is a good start. Rigging armpit body X. I would like to move the under booba now. to move the shadow and fix this armpit area and of course the skirt as well. Rigging skirt body X. Okay let's grab our lower part of our body. Lower body XY org. Create three keyforms and now let's adjust it. Let's increase our conversion divisions and select half and we're going to use that technique again using our arrows. And then reflect motion.
horizontally. Uh, I'm going to move this around so that it gives a better illusion. Refining details. I'm going to work on smaller details like the top. through and create a skin shadow later on just to fix up this light area under the armpit. A good thing to keep in mind is that the part that is away from you needs to be squished smaller and then the part that is closer to you is going to be bigger. Physics menu settings I am going to be doing my hips and legs in a separate video. We have got the basics of our body X done. Let's just chuck that in our modeling settings. Uh, let's add a new group. Body X physics augmentation. And then go add. Select the default live 2D input. So the one that we have not rigged on. And go OK. Set effectivity to 100. Set this to angle, change these, negative 35 to positive 35 maximum. We don't really need to do this, but let's just chuck these in here. Add a pendulum, 0.8 for shaking, this to 1.5. Output, now the output is going to be the parameter that we just rigged on. Body X, let's increase the scale. Our physics are working. I can see already that I need to change some things, like with my hair. It goes underneath. Let's just toggle on our bald hair so we can see our booba better and the rest of our body. Updated physics. This is my model now. This is what it looks like. Um, the settings that I have changed from the ones that I just showed you there. So I just want to give a brief rundown on how I have it now. So I still have the angle X. So the default live 2D parameter, so this isn't the one that we rigged on. Uh, I also put in body Z. I kept these the same, so the normalization of input, angle negative 35, minimum, angle maximum 35, position X is negative 25 and positive 25. Angle X is set to type angle, effectivity 100. Body Z is set to position 20, effectivity. These are the default inputs for live 2D. Again, they are not what we rigged on. Down here we have one pendulum. Duration is set to 8.5, shaking is set to 0.8, reaction is set to 1, and overall acceleration is set to 1.5. In the output settings, I have created a body delay parameter. Just like how we have not rigged on angle X for our input, we have also not rigged on body delay. So I will show you here. There is nothing on this parameter. The scale is set to 30. So that is the first group that we have. That's the initial uh, group of this chain for the augmentation. So you can see here I also have a body X2. This is where I've put in body delay X, which we didn't rig on. That was in our output settings for our previous group. So here is this one. I've put it as input for this group. Angle, effectivity 100. Angle, negative 30 minimum, positive 30 maximum. Duration is set to 10. Shaking, 0.8. Reaction, 1. Overall acceleration, 1.5. And the scale was set to 30. So basically the point of this is to have a chain augmented effect. So there is a body delay with my augmentation. I just like it for a more fluid and bouncy look. This is just the basics of our Body X physics augmentation. I will do a separate video on the booba physics themselves and how to get this bouncy look. But 
for now, I just wanted to show you the body X physics. Conclusion and outro! Wow! Thank you so much for watching today's video! We went over the basics of our body X angles, like the booba, the torso, the neck, the arms, and the skirt. We will be refining this movement over time. And when we add in extra physics, like the booba boing, the arm sway with the breathing, um, the skirt physics, honey physics, all that jazz, and like the, the necklace and stuff, it'll all come together. Today's video was just a brief rundown on the angle X. Our next video will be on angle Y. So let's have fun with it. Please stay tuned for the next video. Take care of yourself, grab some water, grab some food. Put on some comfy clothes and have a lovely rest of your day or night. Also, once again, Merry Christmas. <laughs>